Hello everybody, it's Maria here from Pepley Rose Paper Crafting. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to do a fun card with a technique I saw last week from Ellen Hudson. Um, they, I went on their YouTube channel because I also follow other stamp companies um, because I get inspiration and and lately I've been a bit low on the inspiration part but I found a really fun quick video that I thought I would share with you as well um, using Stampin' Up! product uh, and they used a line image uh, stamp and they used a flower and I thought it would be cool to use this, uh, wild, this rose uh, image from to a wild rose stamp set and I'm also going to be using the butterfly gala for the a little note a sentiment I thought it would be fun to share that with you too very quick and easy card and it makes you look like an artist even though you're um, not really good at watercoloring so it's a faux watercolor look this technique has been around for a really long time so I'm not sharing anything new or spectacular but it's something that I haven't done for myself and I thought I'd give it a try with you so what I'm using today is Grapefruit Grove cardstock which is half an A4 cut in half and then scored in half again and that gives you an A6 card base I've just used um, I've pre-scored this prior to starting up the video so I'll just quickly burnish that score line with my bone folder and then from whatever card base you you wish to use like this is very uh, versatile you need a, a whisper white piece of cardstock that is a quarter of an inch shorter or round than the actual card base so you'll need one for the inside and one for the outside so you'll need two of those and I've got a strip here of a quarter of an inch of grapefruit growth so we'll get started on this technique you will need your stamparatus or you will need whatever um, kind of uh, stamp positioning tool you may have I've just put a piece of paper here just to protect my uh, mat there I'm going to bring up the rose image and I'm going to bring up a card stock there and I'm just going to put it in the middle now I'm just trying to think I'll pull that right in the middle there like that and there will be a reason why because I'm going to use this to stamp the whole uh, lot around so I'm going to use that like that and then for that I'm going to do this here yeah because this is going to be the inside piece so what you'll need is uh, pineapple punch or grapefruit growth and I'm going to use my pineapple punch first and I'm going to ink half half of that and then I'm going to grab the grapefruit growth and ink the other half of the flower and then I'm going to spritz it with some water using my Stampin' Spritz and this will give like the faux watercolour look so I'm just going to do the bottom of this and it looks like you've gone to the trouble of using watercolour see that? isn't that just the coolest? now that is a little bit too much water so spritz a lot less if you're using Whisper White cardstock so I'll just grab um, a bit of a tissue and I'll just mop up the, um, the excess water but I think that turned out terrific I really love that so I'm just going to put that to the side and I'm just going to clean the stamp so you've got to clean the stamp with each and every application so I'll just put my Whisper White here in the middle again and I will ink up half with Pineapple Punch and the other half with the Grapefruit Grove I'm going to spritz it once from afar okay and then I'm just going to stamp it ok 
Okay, turned out like that, and then we'll just rotate the page around until we do that. So I may um, also make this go a bit faster. So I'm just using this as positioning, and then we'll just mix it up here as well. We'll just do that there, and like that. this and it turned out absolutely beautiful it's very artistic very different and I quite like this because this technique is so easy and it just blew my mind so we'll leave that to the side for a moment for it to dry and we will no longer need this image from the to a wild rose stamp set line images work best with this technique and it looks like you have gone to the trouble of actually watercoloring this yourself so it looks really beautiful I love that so we'll just close up our ink pads because we no longer need them and what I will be doing now is grabbing my quarter inch piece of um, grapefruit growth and I'm going to just run my embossing buddy over the top of it so I'll just do that over here okay then I'm just going to put it into my stamping tool or stamparitis in this case. I'm going to use a little note because I think that that can be used for any occasion. So you can use that to say thank you or happy birthday, whatever you wish. So it's really versatile that way. So I quite like that. So I'm just going to just pop this down here and then I'm going to put the stamp up there just a bit up there actually I might put this down further just to make sure that it's um, make sure that's square on I'll put that over here because it didn't fit right up there and oh yeah before I put this down I'm going to get a magnet and I'll just Put that there just to ensure it stays in place okay right so now I'm going to grab my Versamark ink pad and I'm just going to ink that sentiment up then I'm going to stamp that on And then I'm going to grab my white embossing powder. So I'll just give that a quick clean. I'll take that off, take the magnet off too. Make sure that's all cleaned. Okay, so that's done. And I'll just grab now my white embossing powder. Sorry about the noise of that, it's a bit loud. Okay, so I'm going to heat emboss this off camera. And I'm also going to just um, put the heat tool through these just to dry them quickly. And I shall be back. So I've just finished heat em um, embossing the sentiment. That says a little note right there. And I've also just passed the heat tool through these um, to dry them up. Now, because I had put a, a lot of water initially, this is now kind of buckled, but this one fared better because you learn from experience. <laughs> so what I'll do with this sheet here is I'll put that on the inside. So I'll just grab my PVA glue, my liquid glue. You can use whatever adhesive you wish. 
I like using liquid because it just gives me that little bit of wiggle room to ensure that um, I adhere that down correctly. So I just put this down here. So this is a very like artistic kind of a card. So if you like this kind of thing, then this is the card for you. And I think that turned out gorgeous. So I'll just hold that down for a second. Okay, make sure it's really Pass my um, bone folder over the top of it just to kind of smooth it out a bit. Just give that another smooth. Okay. Now for this sheet, I'm just going to figure out now whether I put it right across or just a part, bit of the way. And I think I'm going to put it a little bit of the way and just cut that off there. Yep, so I'll just grab my scissors and I'm going to cut straight up. Actually, I'll cut at an angle. And I'm going to stick that down with some glue like that. And I think that looks lovely. So I'll go, I might give myself a marker up to there. I'll just glue that down. pop that down here. This can be used for any occasion. You can also feel free to um, change up the sentiment as well, like it's not set in stone. So that's pretty good. Right now. So I'll just go over the same area so you can't tell that there's been any um, Mucking around there. I'll need to go this way now. That's it. Perfect. Give that a little bit of a smooth. Okay, so I'm now going to just cut that excess bit off. Okay, so I accidentally cut a little bit excess off, so I'm going to just trim that down with my guillotine and I should be back. Brought over my guillotine cutter and now, because I made that mistake, I want to even that out. So I'm just going to bring it over just ever so slightly and this will cut even the smallest slither. Check that out. So you could not tell that there was anything untoward isn't that great? I love that trimmer. So I'm just going to pop this now over the top of my card base. And this is a very simple but artistic looking card and I like it. You can feel free to change up the colours. As I said, this is not a new technique. This has been around for a long time, but I was, I was inspired by the Ellen Hudson video that was put out a couple of weeks ago, I think. And um, I really enjoyed that because it was just so simple, but yet gorgeous and effective. And I love using the liquid glue, as I said, because when I muck around with the positioning, sorry, I'm lost for words, with the positioning, I'm able to fix it up. So I'll just give it a smooth over with my bone folder as well. Just makes it look a lot smoother and nicer. Just... Okay, so there you have it. That's my finished card for today. I hope you like it. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to uh, leave me a comment the video below. Um, and I've used a couple of stamp sets that are in our annual catalogue, Tour Wild Rose and Butterfly Gala. And in fact, you can even use that same technique with butterflies, whatever you wish. Anything that's a line image works really well with this technique. And I shelled out and I brought out my stamping spritz as well which is great to bring that out okay everyone thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and um, 
If you'd like to purchase any of these products, please go through my online store at peppleyrose.stampinup.net. That means if you're anywhere in Australia, you can purchase from me. Um, also, if you have any questions and you'd like me to answer them privately, please go through my online store at peppleyrose.stampinup.net and use the contact me section and, um, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye!